Fly Sky uh, FS9 or TH dash FS9 X same exact transmitter I've done a few modifications to it one I did a mod to the battery I've ordered a couple of Chinese batteries and made a pack for it it's a lipo pack I used the uh, trust fire batteries that was recommended by a fellow online I'll give you his uh, web address later but it only puts out the pack only puts out 7.6 volts so and the transmitter requires seven so you get a beep and there is a mod for that to uh, put a trans transistor in line on it to uh, knock down the uh, the beep first thing you see when you turn the thing on you see uh, well, let me get my switches right all the switches have to be in the zero position in order for it to uh, boot up you can see that the voltage says 7.9 that's because I have the uh, the battery pack that I made on it by uh, the time I have set for 10 10 minutes on my battery packs I've got it programmed the first channel for a helicopter and it's PPM this will do PCM or PPM I don't know about the antenna the antenna is the, the little Yagi type antenna the fold out 2.4 gigahertz antenna and I thought about changing that antenna out I haven't decided yet so now let's go into the programming you hold the menu button down you get the system in the settings inside the system you can see where you select the model this is where you program your models you just get in there select it and then you go to the model name and you give it your name that you want I got HK450 Pro in this one uh, the model type is where you choose helicopter uh, airplane or glider this has three separate segregated settings and then you have the modulation which is PPM or PCM which is FM or 2.4 gigahertz and you go to your sticks you can set the mode you set mode 1, 2, 3 and 4 and if you see when I change the mode the sticks change I use mode 2 that's the most common for the United States but you can choose whatever mode you want this is when you're setting up your helicopter and then you do a copy I found the copy but I haven't found anything that will default the channel or a memory setting the only thing I can suggest for that would be to leave one of the memory settings to the default and then copy the default back over to whatever channel you want to overwrite uh, the, unfortunately fly sky and Turnagy and all those guys, the other guys that branded products, they uh, left that little feature out. Okay, so let's go into the system or the, the settings. This is where you set up your throttle curve, pitch curve, and all kind of other stuff. This thing is loaded down with different settings. If you look, we've got our throttle rudder, aileron, or elevation, and aileron. You've got, this is your auxiliary or your F mode. You've got three different settings like the, uh, the uh, spectrum radios. You get three settings for your for fly mode. Then you got your aileron channels, DR, which would be your uh, zero or one. This one is your rudder. As you can see, that the little arrow, the little red arrow, is pointing to the gear, which is 
I'm using it for gyro. And this is a uh, throttle, throttle hover trim. It's another channel on the radio that you can use for whatever purpose. This is your trainer or uh, timer start. And on this side, we've got pitch trim, which is an auxiliary too. It also you can dial your elevator data rate. And then on the, the top, you can see this is your rudder data rate. And this little puppy here is your throttle cut. Now, I haven't used either one of these knobs yet. I only use uh, what's standard on the, the uh, Spectrum. Uh, I got a six channel DX6, so I only use the channels on that. You got your digital elevator and aileron, rudder. This is your elevator, aileron, and your throttle. Inside the programming, go into the programming, your reverse, throttle curve, pitch curve, sub trim, endpoints, throttle hold, you set your auxiliary channels, your swash AFR, which is actually your. Uh, your uh, aileron and pitch reversal. Data rates. Now you see you got a graph for your data rates. I've found that uh, the data rate on this thing is real, real touchy at its default, like it is now. That's in its default state. And I'll show later on, I'll show how I set my radio up. The trim. This is where you can set your trims on a, a helicopter. I don't see any need you set your trim on the, uh, for a helicopter, but a, an airplane. Uh, you can set your trims and mix them if you want. Revo. I don't use the Revo. I have no idea what it's even for. Somebody else will probably chime in on that. You can see that you got a graph on it too. Fail safe. This will be your fail safe if the radio fails. What you want the channel to do when it loses contact with the transmitter. And throttle hover, hover pitch, the trainer. You can set it up for enable or disable per channel. Set your display. Uh, Contrast, you can set your contrast where it goes almost all the way, or you can set it make it real, real dark looking, or turn it almost out. I leave it in the middle. Let it get back up there. Most of the time you press your menu button to uh, say I'm going to exit out because I want to leave, leave it alone. This is where you set your timer up. I've got mine set for 10 minutes. Activate it or inhibit it. You can even set seconds if you want. And it's where you set your gyro. I don't know what the difference between AVC and normal is. I do know that AVC is head hold mode and normal is rate mode. And you change, you can change your uh, gyro type. Set it to standard or gyro. Throttle trims if you want to use it. And 
then this is where you set your mix up. And that's pretty much it. I'll go into it the next time. I'll show you how I've got the radio program.